Hey, it's John from Tinderbox Arts. So, quick little video on this rainy day about my RT, and my concern was the kickstand or the side stand. I noticed the lean on the RT from when I got it maybe a little over a year ago it seemed much more severe than on other bikes. So, like that's my son's uh, Yamaha, this is my Triumph. All those bikes that I've ever ridden or tried. You know, the, the lean when it's on the side stand is about the same. But on the RT, it just seemed much more severe. Uh, and it kind of bothered me. It's it just unnerving, really. So I took the kickstand off the bike. And I was looking for problems that I might see. Uh, the way the kickstand comes off, I'll show you on the bike in a second. But uh, this part right here, I'll call it a bridle, uh, fits into a, a, a area on the frame. And there's a pin here. Uh, this part... Uh, rides against a bushing and, and against this interior part here. There's a couple of C-clips that hold everything in place and of course there's a sensor on top of the kickstand uh, to, you know, for, for starting so you don't start it with uh, or try to take off with the kickstand down. So I was wondering whether there's some bushings in the bike which I'll look at in a second which I thought maybe they were damaged in some way or maybe this was damaged in some way, or maybe the pin had just worn through, but there's not that many miles on the bike. Um, so I didn't really find any problems there. I did notice that this section right here, it seems a little bit bent. Not that it got bent in use, but maybe when the factory welded this part on, um, you know, it was just slightly crooked. But it's not awful. I also did notice that the foot is quite thin here, so it's been wearing through. And are down. And what tends to happen is when you put it on the kickstand, um, if you imagine me looking uh, on the side of the bike now, it, the kickstand hits the ground and then it tends to kick up like that when the full weight of the bike is put on it. And I measured from when this area right here first hits the ground and then I put the full weight on the bike and it comes up about 12 millimeters, which doesn't sound like a lot down here, but when you you know, translate that to what the top of the bike is doing, it's actually quite a lot. So that seemed to be part of my problem. Let me show you what the bike itself looks like. All right, this is really hard to film, uh, real tight quarters here. So where I am on the bike, here's the foot shifter, right? And look just below it, that's where the kickstand is. This right here is the sensor, let me get out of the light. This right here is the sensor. And just underneath that is where, let me grab this with my left hand. Uh, this is how the kickstand fits on here. It just goes in between there like that. And there's quite a lot of slop there. You can see my hand moving. So that slop is what I was just saying, kind of translates to about 12 millimeters. So you put the bike on the ground and it starts there. And then when the weight hits it, it, com oops, it comes up about 12 millimeters. And that, that makes a difference. So you know, I was looking in here to see if these bushings were damaged in any way. They aren't. They're very expensive. They're about $15 each. It's a split bushing, so 30 bucks to fill that hole. Uh, I didn't really find any problems there. I don't see any issues with the frame. There's no cracks. There's nothing like that. So I didn't really find any issue there, and I'm back to the kickstand itself. So since there's nothing really wrong with the factory arrangement that I can find, I mean, everything looks like it's supposed to look, the only thing I'm noticing is that this foot is very thin here. So this, it tapers, which I don't think it did originally. So out here, it's a little bit more than a millimeter thick. Here, it's, it's quite thin, uh, you know, half a millimeter, something like that. So I think what's happened is over time, and again, there's not that many miles on this bike, but every time the kickstand gets put down, it rubs on the ground when it splays out like that and just rubs off a little bit more metal. So I decided, you know, as a starting point, what I was going to do is just add some more metal to the bottom of this foot. And in the process, I will also make uh, the foot itself a little bit bigger. So I think uh, what I've done here is I got a piece of uh, 3 16 uh, flat bar mild steel that I can weld onto the bottom of this foot. Now 3 16 doesn't sound like an awful lot, but when you translate that to the top of the bike, you know, I, I expect it's going to make maybe an inch or possibly two inches of difference, um, you know, from where I am now. So 
the combination of the thickness and also a little bit bigger foot, I think is just going to be leaving this kickstand or the side stand a little bit higher than it is. Right, with this uh, wire feed welder, I have flux core wire, and it tends to rust because the flux gets caught into the welds. But um, what I did was just grind down. They were shitty welds anyway, as far as looks, so nothing uh, lost there. But I ground those down as best I could and put a quick cut of wheel paint on this. So I think we should be all right. So the, the base now is much bigger than it used to be before, and I, I definitely noticed that the old one you know had bent a little bit the foot was so thin that it just actually bent so that bought me some space as well so I'm just gonna let this paint set up a little bit um, and then I'll put it back on the bike and see if I made a difference but I think it's gonna be good and if I need more uh, thickness I can certainly add more um, it wasn't a problem I mean I got good I mean the welds look awful but I got good penetration and they're, they're definitely gonna hold so I think that went pretty easily, so let's see if this makes any difference now when I put it back on the bike. I'm not even going to try filming, putting this back together, because I can't even get myself in here, never mind a camera. But here's the sensor, right? And I put a bunch of grease in there. A fella, uh, Steve Campbell, uh, on one of the Facebook RT groups, noted that he drilled a hole in this fitting here, or this housing here, and uh, made a little grease hole so he could grease this thing up, which is not a bad idea. It's something I will probably do when I get a minute. All right, I have this side stand or a kickstand, whatever you want to call it, back on. The only pain is there's a retaining clip at the top of the sensor to hold it in place. And it's just a pain to get on there because it's so tiny. So the foot definitely does make a difference. Uh, I probably could have put a quarter inch uh, metal on the bottom instead of the 316. But uh, it, it makes enough of a difference that it makes the project worthwhile, I think. Um, I... In, in addition to the thinness of the foot, I definitely noticed it was bent. So I, I could put it in a vise and bend it back before I welded on the additional metal. And the fact that the foot is bending tells me that it's too thin to begin with. So with this additional metal, it's twofold. It's extra thickness, but also I, I don't think it'll bend as easy now. So I think it'll, you know, retain where it's supposed to be uh, longer than it did before. So I think it's a worthwhile little project if you feel... The bike is leaning too much. There's a few times when I own this bike where, you know, there might be a little dip in the road or something, and I go to put the kickstand down, and I'm like, man, it, it really drops a lot, and it's it's just unnerving. So I'd rather have a little extra juice there, and I and I like the fact that the foot is a little bit bigger now. Uh, when it comes up here, it's fine. It doesn't get any any way. So I, I'm glad I did the project. Uh, in the future. You know, if I continue to have a problem, I could weld more metal on top or on the bottom of the foot. But for now, I think I'm in pretty good shape.